Hey guys, what's going on? Listen, let's let's learn to jailbreak. It's not jailbreaking. Unlocking, rooting, changing one little option you're in Amazon Fire TV stick or even an Android device. And we can get some extra extra games on our Fire TV stick. Maybe some extra movies, some extra applications like below here. In order to do that, super quick. We need to download one program and we can do whatever we want. First things first, reminder, please set up a VPN. Use IPVanish, use NordNews, use whatever you want. One of the free ones you can get in the settings. I'll show you right after we're done all this. Use the link below to do it. Um, first things first, we're going to download a, a program called Downloader. Makes it nice and convenient, easy to remember. In the search icon, pull down, type in downloader. It comes up pretty quick for you. Once it's there, you have this little orange icon. Click on it. Give it a second to load up the page, and it says download. I already own it, so it says download. Yours would probably say get. So get it now. Click on it. Give it a moment for it to download and install super easy program to find and you, we can push open but right now we're going to change our one little option so now that we have downloader it gives us the ability ability to sideload other programs onto the fire stick or any android device come down all the way to the right to the little cog wheel under settings once we're in settings go down till you find the icon that says my fire tv what's in my fire tv you may or may not have this line that says developer options um, which is what we need in order to jailbreak uh, this fire stick now go up to about if you don't click on fire stick with your remote seven times as you can tell at the bottom of it, he says, no, no need. You're already a developer. So this just lets developers create their own applications uh, and test them. So once we're back at one, we go back to developer options. Now, install unknown apps. If you have an old, unupdated um, Fire Stick, it'll probably stay turn on or turn off, and that's it. In the new ones with the update, you actually have to go in, turn on the file you need. So click down to downloader, turn it on. It says allow downloader to install other applications that are not from the Amazon App Store. We're not downloading illegal uh, programs or apps. We're just downloading other ones that are difficult to get on the Amazon Store. When you go back to the home screen, find your app if you don't have it. Come all the way down to the little app icon, click on it, and you'll find it right here. Now if you always want to, we can push the little hamburger button on the remote, and as you can tell it comes up on the right, and we can move it to the front, hide it or remove it, you can move it wherever you want. So let's put it here. Alright, so once we've done that, we're able to, as you can tell, now it's in our top row. A little quick link there. So we can click on Downloader. Downloader is going to be come up with this allow downloader to access photos, media, and uh, on our device. And we'll say yes, allow it, because it needs to download it somewhere. Uh, a little quick start guide if you want. Click OK. And in this little URL search box, we can type in a little quick um, access code. Either you can type in ledbythenknown.com and it'll go directly to uh, my website for you to find the applications we want. So 456835. Much easier than typing in ledbythenknown.com or any other URL if you wanted to do that. Push go, give it five seconds, and as you can tell, it's redirecting to 
theledbytheunknown.com. So once we're in here, give it a five, the little countdown for the redirect. And here we are. Now, in order to not have that redirect anymore, we can hold the select button and go down just to add current page to our favorites. Perfectly. Perfect. Call it whatever you would like and save. Now this will be in our favorites folder there on the left and then we don't have to wait. It will just automatically come. Now in order to find the page we need, it's the downloads page. So it's right here. You can click on this page or we can pull in the little pull down we can click on it there we go and go down to the downloads line and in the downloads box on this page we're able to go down and find the applications that we would like to use if you need a VPN Get your phone out and take a shot of the QR code and download yourself a VPN. Now, a couple of apps we can download to make it nice and easy. APK Time and Aptoid. You can just click on the APK Time. It's going to come up automatically to download. Super quick and easy. And it's going to say, do you want to install or cancel? So we can always just say, let's install. I already have it down, but it's super quick. And then we can hit done. Once we're done, it's going to go back in to downloader and just say delete because we no longer need the downloaded file. Now, if you want, you can do the same with Aptoid. We can download it. And it actually brings us to the website. We've got to fix the link so that it actually just automatically downloads. But I believe, give it a moment. Looks like it's still trying. Doesn't want to download it. There we go. Automatically downloaded. So this is another fairly small 20 meg application. Both of these act as similar to the Amazon store, similar to a Google Play store. Um, these are just outside of the realm of those two stores and as you can tell we can say install again and let it do its thing quickly 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 install done we'll click done go back and delete that file too. We don't want these files because they're just going to take up room on the stick where we don't need to worry about that. Now if we go back here to the download page, we can come down and there will be some extra files you can download. And you get it through here. There's Kodi if you're interested in downloading Kodi. I would suggest the 32-bit. We can come down. Also there's like Pluto TV, Local Now, ABC. Majority of the stuff you might be able to get at the Amazon store or through the Google Play store. This just makes it a little easier for you guys. And there's others that are currently adding. Okay, so we've got those two applications. Let's go back to the home screen. Now, as you can tell, I already had the Aptoid and APK Time downloaded, but you go to the little four three squares application button so your apps and games you can always of course click the little hamburger button and let me get and move to front right now while we're doing this once once we get some of these things up you may want to use an application like IP Vanish 
and for certain movies or t movies or sorry for certain applications you might want your service provider not to see what you're doing so run apk or sorry run ip vanish as you can tell it says i'm in the states where actually, actually i live in canada so this just kind of keeps keeps uncle sam from really seeing what we're doing Now let's go back home. Let's open Aptoid. Aptoid looks more like a store. As you can tell, it says apps and games up top. Many, many games. I know you can find like Roblox in here for your kids. So if you're interested in having your kids use this thing to play Roblox, even though you can get connect a remote up to it or crazy ball or anything you want to do you can click on it download it and away you go APK time is a little more basic for how its layout is new updates top APKs Android animation essentials fire device only now this isn't necessarily uh, program or this is more or less programs for um, like uh, file explorer mouse toggle so if you want to have your remote act more like a mouse you can download one of these two it depends on whether you're third or fourth gen or first and second gen remote so you, or, I mean fire stick so you can add that and Let's go to the top APK. So, a BTV, Cinema HD, Film. So, if you guys are interested in movies, TV shows, live, all those, they're all there. Um, sports, tools, faster internet, not too sure. Looks like a VPN toolbox cleaner so if you ever get a virus I don't know I'd just do a full factory reset and a fire stick if you're going to get a virus but malware bytes so you can use that on your on your phone if you really need to something happens so guys I hope you like what I have here enjoy it have fun peace out check out the website led by the unknown.com Check out other things on there. Uh, use your phone. Type it in. You know, uh, it helps out every little last little bit. Some of those links might be uh, affiliate links, so helps out the channel. Helps out the website. Keeps keeps the lights on in the house. <laughs> Anyways, take care. Peace out. So this is the part of the video that doesn't really exist. No one I don't think really ever makes it this far. Ever. Really. Seriously. I don't think. I don't I don't know how many of these videos I've done with this at the end. Go take a look and tell me. <laughs> um, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm definitely back. Um, this video you may find on a different channel just because uh, maybe I pushed the envelope a little too hard already third video out bam strike strike two in the last two months I think so um, I got a two-week vacation from Lee Jackson's uh, YouTube channel uh, sucks whatever I'm going to be using rumble more if you've heard of it or not rumble is just like youtube it is an actual canada canadian um more open more uh, maybe more right right winged uh we could say i i don't know i know um there's a bunch of people that have left youtube for censorship or for speaking their minds on the way people like um, 
So I'm going to, some of my videos will might be a little more uh, over the edge, over there. I don't know yet. I don't know how they react to these movies or videos. And uh, yeah, so um, check out my links below. Check out Rumble. Uh, check out the current, I don't even know where I'm putting this yet. Um, I have a couple other channels that I'm going to try to upload them to. And uh, we'll see you guys around. Take it easy. Enjoy. Peace out. Hit the subscribe button, please. It helps out. Thank you. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Please put in a comment. Someone comment. I never get a comment anymore. It was way better when you guys bitched at me because I didn't know what I was doing. But now I don't get anything. I'm kind of scared. Okay. Take care.